Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use visual text analysis to develop your ChatGPT conversations in an interesting way. So that instead of having something like this where you gradually get lost in the interaction, you have a graph that shows you the main topics that you covered together with ChatGPT and also where you can see the gaps in your discourse so you can address those gaps and develop this conversation further in an interesting direction that will help you explore new ideas and get to the nuance of meaning of this conversation. So keep watching if you want to learn how it works. We will be using the app that I developed that's called Infranodos, which is a visual text network analysis app. It's available on infranodos.com. And what you can do is find a ChatGPT conversation, like in this case, for instance, I had a conversation with it on neoliberalism. Um, because I wanted to understand what is actually meant by this term a little bit better. So then I export this conversation, just copy a link. And then in Infranodus you have a feature where you can import a link. So I will go to the apps and import, choose URLs, websites and URL, copy and paste my link, click save. And what happens is that Infranodus extracts all the keywords and uh, concepts from this conversation and visualizes them on the graph. Uh, the concepts that have uh, more influence are shown bigger on the graph as you can see here. And if those concepts or notions are used in the same context, like for example, in this case, they will have the same color. So this visualization provides you a really quick visual overview of the main ideas on a very granular level. If you want high level ideas, so to see more of the topics that you covered, um, you can also click here or there, and then it will show you the main topics, which are actually generated by GPT-4, uh, neoliberalism history, capitalism debate, political economy and welfare economics. And then we have more here if we click here. So we can see all the topics we covered, which is really great if I want to refresh on this conversation because it happened, I think, a couple of months ago uh, and I wanted to pick up where I left. So I decided to use that and to see if I can develop this idea further, right? So first of all, what I like to do is to get a general overview using Infranodus to see what are the topics I covered. Neoliberalism history here, the pink one, capitalism debate, political economy, welfare economics. If I want, uh, if this doesn't give me a general idea of what it's about, even though it does, but I can also summarize this text using GPT, which is built into Infranodus to get a summary of this conversation. So basically we see that we've been talking about neoliberalism and how it's a term that re re refers to a set of economics and political poli policies and also how capitalism is an economic system based on growth and so on and how it's related to concepts such as profit, service and production. So that gives me a quick overview of the conversation. Now let's say I want to see how to develop it further. So I'm going to reset uh, the highlight here by going again into show all and then it will show me all the statements. Uh, one way that you can do is a very direct uh, use of the feature that's called uh, blind spot. So basically what Infernodus does in this case is that it identifies the topical clusters, which are shown here, uh, that could be better connected and highlights the gaps bet between them. So you can see which topics you could connect and generate some ideas to make those new connections which you haven't made before. Right. In this case, for instance, I can reiterate through a few gaps and <clears throat> normally I like to look for the ones that are further apart. So, for example, impact of globalization and profit maximization in this case. This seem to be sufficiently apart. They're kind of connected, but not so well. So let's see what uh, GPT-4 generates. Uh, we have a button here. By the way, I can also just think of the connection myself, which is something I like to do because it helps me develop my own ideas. But if I want to kind of uh, st stimulate my thought process, I can also generate a few using AI and then get into it myself. So for example, here it says, how can the regulation of global free trade markets influence decision-making to promote production of goods, services and at competitive prices to maximize profit? So basically uh, how deregulation affects profit seeking behavior. Of course, because it's AI, sometimes it's not going to phrase the question really well, but our task here, remember, is to stimulate our thinking. So how can we connect those ideas? Here I'm thinking, how can deregulation affect profit maximization? This is interesting. I can either save this question into notes here by clicking this green button, or if I already have an answer, or I want to add this idea into the graph, I can simply click here, save to graph, and it's going to be added into this discourse. 
I can even answer this question and it depends whether I want to answer it in this very conversation or if I want to make a sort of like a new file that will uh, contain all the new ideas. So you can actually work in both ways. I prefer when I start with something like this that I haven't touched for a while to actually develop it in the notes here. So here I see how can the regulation of global free trade influence uh, profit-seeking behavior and then I can say that indeed there is a connection between those two aspects but also I would be interested to look at the stats and see if there was any correlation between for example deregulation practices and profits derived by the big corporations right so um, I can just write it as a note think of a connection between deregulation and uh, profit of big corporations. Just something for me to research later. I can save it, so I have it in my thoughts, and then I can generate some new ideas, so I can regenerate some of the questions. And as you can see, it highlights uh, the gap. So for example, I can also choose a new one. Let's say something that is further apart from each other. Maybe this is interesting, welfare policy and neoliberalism. They're kind of uh, on slightly opposite parts of the graph, so I can also think of a connection between them. Let's see what is the role of neoliberal advocates in the private sector response to the emergence of classical liberalism in the 21st century and how it's affected by public welfare policy intervention. So this needs some knowledge on the subject. And even though it's an interesting question and I could go and research it, I will show you another feature. I could actually ask the same question that the AI generated back to the AI for it to generate an answer for me. So I just click on elaborate and then it will elaborate on that statement and respond with some idea. So it says that uh, neoliberal advocates uh, influence promotion of deregulation and free market principles. However, public welfare policy interventions often challenge those ideas by emphasizing social responsibility and equality. So this is great because I already discovered this dichotomy that I had in the conversation where I was talking on the one side about the need for free markets and how it drives economic growth and at the same time that there is also a way of looking at things where you need to prioritize social responsibility and equality because it makes for a more stable society. So I can save this into my notes. I think that's an interesting thought. Uh, I can even use it later to start a new conversation with ChatGPT and to develop this idea further. Um, and I can also generate some more responses to see what can be maybe phrased a little bit better or maybe to get a completely different response, right? So this is another approach I would use. Look at the gaps here, uh, regenerate uh, them and then see how I can connect them in an interesting way preferably seeking uh, those gaps that are further apart from each other, right? So this is why I re reiterate a few times and then I generate something. I think of a connection between these two topics. If I need help, I use the AI to generate an idea for me. I always encourage people to think of their own questions and then answer them first because this kind of engages you into a really nice conversation with yourself, but you can also use the AI for that. Uh, so here it generated another question for me and then I just do it in this iterative way over and over again until I reach some idea that I like. But I already did that. So let me show you something else. Another feature that you have in Infranodus, actually if you switch off the high level ideas, what you can also do is to say like, okay, I know that uh, all those topics, I already covered them in the conversation. I know that I've been talking about neoliberalism, capitalism, economic market and so on. What is the nuance that's interesting inside? So what I can do here is actually select all those concepts that I know already are in the conversation and hide them from the graph. So I peel off the top layer of ideas to see what's hiding behind. And then I see, ah, okay, there's something about social personal brands. So that's interesting. Let's click on those terms to see in which context I use them. Okay, so there is something about erosion of privacy and pressure on mental health and also self as a brand. So how it actually changes people, you know, liberalism and capitalism makes people turn into products and the, all the negative effects that it might have. So I can also add this idea that I just had just from looking at the graph and selecting those topics as a thought. So how capitalism and neo 
liberalism affects people and makes them turn themselves into a brand. And again, here, because it's notes, I'm not so much concerned with uh, phrasing my sentence as well. These are just some ideas. I'm going to show you what you can do with them after. So here again, I picked on some topic that was present in the conversation, but not so evident. Imagine me having to read all of this to kind of find this again. That would be really complicated. My, yeah, it's my transcript with uh, ChatGPT. So, so basically what I did here, I just peeled off the top layer, found the stuff that are interesting, wrote down some thought, and then I can go on actually, and I can remove this stuff from the graph to see what's hiding under. So I see this, see there's a lot about individuals. Okay, this I already covered. Policy state intervention. So something about how state intervenes into economics and how that works. That's an interesting subject, but let's imagine I'm not interested in that. So I will peel this off and look for more specific stuff. I just look at the graph. If I like, I can also, by the way, reduce the number of nodes shown if it's too much for me. Something like that maybe will work. So for example, let's say I would like to see what was written about classical liberalism idea. So that's interesting because I was also, now it makes me remember that I was also asking it, what is liberalism and how neoliberalism is actually different. So that is also something that I remind myself about the conversation and about a possible thread of how I could develop it further, right? This kind of historical lineage of the term and how it evolved over time. So I can deselect those, then select some new stuff, like for instance, what about humans? What, what was I talking about humans actually here? And in this case, because it's a smaller node, I can show more connections. And you also have a really nice feature here that shows, uh, if you don't want to use the graph only, what are the nodes that this node is connected to? So you click on relations in the analytics panel, and then you see that the word human or the notion of human is connected to context, argue, potential, base, worth. So you can see the stuff that you like that is connected to, for instance, freedom, human freedom. And then I can see, okay, this is the context where it was used. Uh, for humans, a right to basic respect, well-being and freedom. So human rights and freedom in connection to how they are affected by government regulations. So this is interesting. It's once again this idea of a trade-off between freedom and the uh, social good. You know, when does your freedom become a problem for somebody else? So this is basically how I would use these features, peel off this graph layer by layer to get to the deeper, more interesting topics that I'm interested in. And then once I'm done, I can get all these terms back into the graph, regenerate uh, the main ideas. Maybe I wrote something down into the graph, so the graph will naturally change. And then I also like to look at the topics by themselves and, for example, see if there's maybe something that I want to develop further. Like, for me at the moment, it's very interesting to think about social branding and how people become products on social media because of this uh, trend somehow, right? That that they have to market themselves and advertise themselves and promote themselves and so on. So that's interesting. This is maybe the subject that I'm going to explore further in the conversation. Maybe I will start a new chat with ChatGPT in relation to the subject, or I will simply go back to my chat, and this is how I'm going to continue it. What about social branding and how it relates to the conversation above? Click this, it will take into account all the context that we had and then develop this idea further. I can also get back to my notes and uh, also copy and paste some of those stuff and generate some new conversation. What I can also do is to make a summary actually of all those notes which I took, which are my most important observations about this conversation. Note summary, so then it will generate a summary of those notes and uh, what, what all those notes are about. And I can actually even copy and paste this into ChatGPT and ask it to kind of develop the conversation further in this direction. Um, and you know already probably that you can give it instructions further in this direction using the summary of what I'm interested in below. So here I'm copying and pasting that when it 
finishes talking, uh, I'm going to send it another prompt. Here you see it's already responding me on the social branding and uh, the connection to the previous conversation I had on this topic. And then we will also discuss uh, how this conversation relates to deregulation and global free trade and profit-seeking behavior. Um, and then I will probably connect it to uh, all these issues of how it affects people on the human level, how it affects society, and probably some interesting ideas will come up and I will form an opinion on this subject and uh, maybe develop it into a text or just some thoughts that I can share with myself or with my friends. So as you can see here, I'm copying and pasting this summary, asking it to develop it further. And here you see it's uh, starting to talk about the relationship between global, global trade deregulation, neoliberalism and personal branding. So that's interesting because it links all those topics that I got interested in by finding them in the graph first, right? So I found them here at the beginning and then I picked the ones that I feel like could be interesting for me and here we are starting to develop this conversation further making new connections between them. And this is what Infranotus does really well, helping you find uh, the main ideas in any discourse and then helping you make new connections between them or explore the periphery of those ideas by peeling off the top layers and then going beyond uh, the initial sort of boundary of the interaction or of the conversation you had. Try it out on infranodos.com and let me know how it works. Uh, also subscribe to this channel so you can be informed about more videos that will show how you can combine visual text analysis and chat GPT. And let me know in the comments or on our support portal if you need any help with that. Thank you very much.